driver, more, real, yeah. real quick, mm -hmm. the greatest things my wife did for me besides marry me in the first place, which is when I was going through the unbelief, she would, she would uh, have on our, in our house, we had this radio intercom, mm -hmm. and every morning about 10 o'clock she'd turn it on to Christian ministry, and, and, and you know, there'd be Chuck Swindoll mm -hmm. preaching, and then there'd be James MacArthur and David Jeremiah, Tony Evans, Jeremiah and is. year, there's about three or four years of that, and then, you know, we had an argument over whether, what church we were going to go to. We decided, okay, I know I was spiritually wired, let's go to church, and I found out, you know, listen, when she was going on Wednesday nights, it was actually a prayer group, and they prayed for me, and they prayed for me, and she was the one who led my son to Christ, not me, which mm -hmm. is now, you just say, boy, I missed out on a great opportunity. Wow. But bottom line is, he was led to Christ by my wife. She was a spiritual leader, spiritual leader, like it always is, like it always is, and then one day at church, and it was not one of these things where I woke up on a Sunday morning and said to my wife, I'm going to accept Christ today as my Lord and Savior because I've been fighting it. But that day, something knocked me out of the pew, straight up in my pastor's arms. Church was pretty crowded that day. I'm emotional about it right now, but I realized they gave me a standing ovation in that church that day. And the reason why is because my wife had started a prayer and a prayer group which grew into basically the entire church and I was totally ignorant and oblivious to the fact that my wife had planted that seed of prayer praying for my salvation. You know, the book of Isaiah says uh, 